Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a way to both remove the shortcut arrow from uh, Windows Vista 7 and 8, uh, which is the reason I'm making this video is because I just installed 8 and I figured if I'm going to do it, I might as well make a video about it, and change uh, folder icons so that they are blank if you care about the aesthetics of your uh, desktop like I do and many people do they might want folders on their desktop that are easy to access they can drag and drop into but they don't want to have them noticeable so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have a zip folder for you to extract onto your desktop and it's going to have these two folders in it remove shortcut arrow and restore shortcut arrow after you've extracted it open the remove shortcut arrow folder you're going to notice two files in here the blank icon and the remove shortcut arrow registry entry. Uh, you're going to take the blank, blank icon and copy it into the Windows folder. Um, I'm going to come up with a prompt that tells you to replace because I've already done this, but uh, you should not. You close out of the Windows folder now. All you have to do is uh, run the registry entry you'll come up with this confirmation and this telling you that it worked and then you're going to have to either shut down your computer or log off so I will be back with you in a second as you can see the shortcut arrow has now been removed so now I'm going to show you how to use that same blank dot icon or dot ICO to change a folder to be kind of invisible on the desktop. So click the folder you want to change the icon for. Click Properties. Customize. Change icon. Browse to your Windows folder and click the blank.ico. Open. OK. Apply. OK. As you'll notice it's gone. Um, there's a way to remove the uh, file name or the folder name as well. Um, I find that's more for people who you know, like want to actually hide their folders. I'm not trying to hide it, I'm just trying to make my desktop look pleasing while still having a really easy folder to drag and drop stuff to that I can organize later. That way I can kind of know where it's at. I'm not scrambling around to find it. I just like put this over on the right hand side somewhere. Um, now if you want to restore your shortcut arrow, what you have to do is open the restore, sh restore shortcut arrow folder and just click this registry entry it's really that easy. You just follow the steps to you know confirm and apply it and then you have to restart the computer. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have to do it again. It's just a hassle and I don't want the shortcut arrow. So I hope this uh, guide was really easy to follow. I kept it short and simple and uh, as, as always, always have a good one.